Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to Hashtag Ask Joy, where I answer your most pressing business questions. Thank you to those of you who are tuning in. I am Joy M. Hutton, your favorite trainer and business strategist. I just got back from an amazing mini vacation. And while there, I thought about how a lot of workplaces have developed a culture of always being on. So today, I want to talk about how to break this vicious cycle of this horrible culture. It is unfair to you and your employees to create a culture where it is the norm to respond to work-related emails in the middle of the night, as soon as you wake up, and while you're on vacation. And I'm guilty I did not turn on my out of office when I was on vacation. But in other words, how do you separate your work from other things? Okay, let's get started. Number one, create a no work zone. As a business owner, create a space at home or maybe at work, wherever your workspace is, that helps you completely detach. At home, it may be another room or your garage, but you need a space that you cannot associate with work or your business. And as an employee, when you leave work, leave work. When you make it a habit of responding to emails, for example, outside of work hours, your manager will expect it of you. Put an end to bad habits. Number two, create to-do lists. As a business owner, you might spend moments lying awake in bed at night thinking about things you need to do. Your mind is constantly racing. Sound familiar? Well, at the end of the day, Create a to-do list so that you are not having to worry about these things when you go to bed at night and you know what you have to do the next day. And as an employee, do the same thing. You should not have to worry about what you have to do the next day if you already have your task outlined. Okay, number three, say no to mindless or aimless meetings. As a business owner, say no to mindless meetings. I can't say that enough. This is time that you can use to finish any task and eliminate doing any extra work at home. There's this culture of FOMO, fear of missing out, where we think we might miss the next opportunity or it just can't wait. Well, it can because you're missing out on sleep. As an employee, it's okay. Step away. And don't impose meaningless meetings on your employees either. They could be using this time to be more productive. Number four, set boundaries on technology use. Technology can make your job more efficient, yes. However, failure to disconnect from it can have a negative impact on your health and well-being. For example, turn off your notifications after work hours. Google has features for that, your iPhones, Androids, all these devices have set settings where you can manage your time for different tasks. Take a break from your computer screen, screen, get up and walk around, and set boundaries for yourself as well as your employees. Within setting boundaries, also learn how to identify the signs of burnout. You don't want your employees walking around looking crazy. Okay, finally, set boundaries with your clients and your customers. They can be the worst. As a small business owner, when you have created a codependent relationship with your clients, they think they can have access to you whenever they want. So be clear from the beginning about when they should and should not contact you and set expectations for when they can expect a response from you as well. Okay, that's all I've got. Remember, being a workaholic is not always a good thing. Learn to unplug and get rid of that horrible workplace culture. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and share, and I will see you guys back here next Friday.